I'm joined by FC Cincinnati defender Matt Boehner. Thanks so much for being here. We'll get a little, little we'll make official. Here you go. Thank um, you. So, Lakota West, right. UC grad, right. back home now. Uh, you've been a part of these record-breaking attendance um, at Nippert Stadium. What's it like as a player? How big of a difference is it for you playing in front of that type of crowd? Uh, it's a huge difference. Um, having a crowd like that, um, you just draw so much energy from them. Um, you know, they, they're great fans. They're very engaged in the game as well, uh, which is great to see as a player. You love seeing that and, and love being able to, you know, to be a part of that. Um, and know everything that you're doing on the field, uh, you know, they're supporting. Um, and, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I don't know how many games you got to go to as a student athlete um, at Never State. I know the soccer team didn't play there, but the football team played there. Mm -hmm. Is it comparable? Do you think the atmosphere that you're playing in, uh, the field on Nippert, uh, versus the games that maybe you went to when you were a student there? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, I always say Nippert, I think, is one of the best stadiums in the country for, you know, whatever sport's being played into it played in it um, and you know it's great to be able to play in it now um, certainly didn't expect you know when I was a student at UC that I would ever play in it um, but having to do that now it, it's a great feeling and, and like I said it's, it's a lot of fun so you guys are in a groove now you've kind of found a rhythm um, you've, you've uh, advanced to the final 16 in the US Open Cup mm -hmm. this weekend of course so you go back and forth between league play and Open Cup play so okay. this weekend you're gonna see st. Louis you beat them right. for nothing an assist in that game. Mm -hmm. GB scored all four, all four goals. Right. So, how, as a defender, you know, put yourself in the mindset of St. Louis. How much are you focusing? How much are they going to focus on GB? Going to make sure he doesn't score this game? Oh, absolutely. You know, that's uh, one of the big things about GB and, and moving forward and with with all the success he's had. It's it's definitely going to you know make teams key in on him. And then you know the great players that we have around him. Um, you know that that'll make them you know do even better, hopefully. Um, so having a great player up top like Jibby is, is awesome for our team. And um, certainly we're trying to give as much service to him as possible. And, um, you know, he's really good at, at putting in headers and, and putting in goals. And, um, you know, as a defender, that's that's really one of the things that I'm, I'm focusing on is, is to make sure that, um, you know, I'm putting in good, good balls for him, um, good crosses and things like that, and, and really, you know, helping the team as much as I can. And you don't often see that point disparity for nothing, something like that, in mm -hmm. the USL. So for you, and that was your home opener, mm -hmm. what was it that allowed you guys to really get in that rhythm and, and that offensive rhythm? Well, uh, yeah, like you said, it was uh, our home opener. So I think, uh, you know, St. Louis was a casualty uh, of that. You know, there was a lot of excitement leading up to that game. Um, you know, it was tough for us. Uh, we had a few games on the road up, you know, up to that point that, that didn't necessarily go the way we wanted to go. And um, certainly we had a little bit of frustration maybe uh, going into our home game. And uh, we knew we were going to have a great crowd. And um, we certainly did. And, um, you know, I think we just, you know, put everything together. It was a perfect storm. And, um, you know, it's always great to, to get multiple goals. It's coming up on, up on Wednesday. Uh, you're going to play Chicago Fire mm -hmm. SC, another MLS team. Right. How difficult is it to kind of separate the league play and that play? Because I mean, you're going to you have a chance to go up and beat another MLS team. And, and that's huge. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's definitely exciting. Um, certainly, you know, we don't look too far ahead because of the game, uh, you know, against St. Louis is, is important because of the league and, and where we're standing uh, right now. But, uh, you know, playing a, another MLS team is always a, a great time and, and uh, you know, a great experience. Um, you know, we play them in the preseason in Florida. Um, you know, we did well against them, I felt. Um, certainly they've, they've grown as a team and we have, we've grown as a team as well. And I think it'll be an, an, another great game. So I think it's kind of interesting because you see some of these teams, you know, they may not play all of their starters the entire game because mm -hmm. they have to be fresh for league play. Right. But now it's the final 16, so we might see some things change up a little bit. Absolutely. From from a fan's perspective, for you, have you seen, is that weird for you that maybe they don't put all of their guys out there um, who, who maybe they would put out there in a league game? And do you think that's going to change at this stage of the game? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that definitely could, you know, the stakes are definitely higher. Uh, like you said, we're in the, the final 16, so they might. Um, you know, that's up to them, really. Sure, sure. Um, but, you know, as, as far as the players that they play, all the, you know, the players on their roster are MLS caliber players. Um, so really, whoever they play out, you know, you know, they'll be confident with, with who's playing. And um, they're, you know, just trying to improve and, and, and do well, just like we are every time we step on the field. So um, certainly, you know, when you got, 
you know, the Bash and Schweinsteigers of the world and a world-class yeah. player like that, again, and, you know, you could potentially play against that. Um, you know, that's, that's obviously exciting, and, and hopefully we get to do that. Sure. What does that mean? I mean, obviously, you, you're, you don't want to say, I know <laughs> that line, when your idols become your rivals. Mm -hmm. So you don't want, it's not like you're looking up to him. Right. But, but for you, um, is that something that you guys are, are excited for, playing a guy of, of that caliber? Absolutely. Um, I think, you know, whenever you play in this game, you always want to play, at the be play against the best. And he certainly is one of the best. Um, he's shown that in, in his career, and uh, he's doing it now, still in Chicago, uh, in the MLS. And uh, so, any chance you get it, you know, you get to play against uh, a player of that caliber, it's it's a great, great experience. Um, and you, you know, try to enjoy it as much as you can. Looking at the players who you've got to play against in your career, do you think that he's probably the uh, most accomplished or the most talented? Um, I'd say he's definitely up there. Um, you know, I played against uh, Raul in the NASL. Um, you know, that was, that was uh, a lot of fun, and he, he's certainly a great player as well. Uh, but I definitely think, uh, you know, Bastion Schweinsteiger would definitely be uh, one of the top players I played against for sure. Awesome. First things first, things first though, uh, St. Louis mm -hmm. on Saturday. So thanks so much for joining yep. us Thank and you. get it done. Yeah, absolutely.